under is death. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, the, 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 the law, he said the law is carnal. Yeah. So the law, the law is not carnal, nigga. Yeah, the that. law is spiritual. We're carnal, so under sin. What is that you don't understand, dummy? For to be carnal, carnally minded is death, which is one of the ways of being carnally minded is sinning, man. Because the is. scripture says in Romans 6 and uh, 23, the wages of sin is death. Yep. All right? That's why we fell into the ways of death, man, because we broke the law because we sinned, man. Or going all the way back to Adam. Right, going back to Adam. It says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. But you're going to get that in the kingdom. Right. 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 That's right. Yeah. And it says um to be spiritual minded, which we read to to follow the laws is spiritual. And when you read two verses up, it said the law is good. Which ultimately is faith. Right. You know? Ultimately is faith. Okay. You know what I mean? And and and, and it says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That's right. Um if I can just get right, the yeah. one in Baruch. Oh, uh, come, come, come. Three and nine. <laughs> All right. Let me, give, let me zoom in a little bit. Kind. Um, I'll read it. Uh, it says, uh, Baruch. I'll read it for you. Okay. Baruch 3 and 9. Hear Israel, the commandments of life, give ear to uh, give ear to understand wisdom. It said the commandments of life. To be spiritual minded is life. And then we know, according to Romans, the seventh chapter, that the Lord is a spiritual. And the Lord said, Hear Israel, the commandments of life. Yeah, he didn't say him. Okay. Which the mongoloid. Yeah. <laughs> and it said the, the Lord's statue commandments is, is the ways of life, man. Okay? This nigga's a stupid boy. So what do you mean, carnal law, man? You, 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 you. He's carnal. Yeah, you're carnal, man. So what? You don't keep the laws, then? <laughs> That's what you're trying to say? You know? The laws is too carnal for you to keep. You know? This nigga's a fucking demon, man. And um, the next one. Uh, Baruch, what is it? Baruch 4 and what? 4 and 1. Okay. It says, uh, Baruch 4 and 1. It says, this is the book. Of the commandments of the Most High and the Lord that endured forever. Wait a minute. So I guess in the kingdom we that that don't that 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 don't uh applies. That applies to the new type of laws. So I guess you could be faggots now. Cause he's saying sin, that's the same laws, right? This dude is going <laughs> off, man. It's either the law or the opposite of the law, which is sin, man. Which one is it? Yeah, which one is it? Okay, and then it says the Lord that endured forever. All that keep it shall come to life. And the scripture said to be spiritual mind is life. And that com that comes with rehearsing the law, ultimately coming to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Exactly. And we're bringing out to prove that the law is not, the law um, is spiritual. We ain't sitting there saying the law is going to save you. Because the law is not going to save you, okay? That, that's why there's a scripture in Romans that said the end of the law is Yahweh Shah, man. But, exactly. Which when you look up that word end, I, I don't know the scripture off the top. What I mean, is the, the Omega in the Greek? Uh, no, it's actually telos, telos, which loosely translated, me saying it loosely translated means the conclusion of the matter. I mean, if you could, you could, um, you could probably check it out. What is that? Yo, yeah, it. yeah, yeah, that's it right there. It says, that's Romans 10 and 4. 10 and uh, 4, yeah. And here you go, right there, yeah. Yep. Right you want to read the scripture and then go into the Greek? Yeah, I'm, we, I'll read yeah we can read the scripture. It's right there. It says, yeah, um. I'll read. For okay. Yahweh Shah is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Believe it in who? Yahweh Shah. Because the law alone can't save us. Why? Because we sin against the law. And we got scriptures to bring it out. Right. After we get into this law, will it? You know? And, and how else? The only way we're going to receive the second covenant is through Yahweh Shah, man. He yeah. has to come back. Okay? But um, for that word, when it says the end, the, word, the Greek word is telos. Okay. Strong's G 5056. Telos. Tell us. Tell us. And it says, termination, the limit which things cease to be, always the end of some act or state. But which which, which, which cease to be bound by the law and justified by the law. Right. And it says, uh, but not of the end of the period of time. It says the end, the last. It says the last in any succession or series. Yep. So so how are we going to be successful keeping the law through Yahweh Shah, man? Yep. When, when when the Lord come back, he's going to come back with us. When we get beamed up, Lord will, that's when the, the beginning of being under the second um covenant, man. Yeah. You know? So what is this guy talking about? He going the hell off, man. You you a wicked nigga, man. <laughs> and you may just very well be a tear because Lord, Lord will, man. And we, yeah, yeah, we say Lord will, man. 
All right, we hope you a damn tear because your real name is Esau any damn way, man. <laughs> and you and you put and you call, change your name to Jacob. That's something Esau day, man. That's, you know, that's he, he's just calling himself Jew. Yeah, he calling himself the Jew. You might be an Amalekite, man. No, you may, I pray the most high you were you were Hamite, man. You were Amalekite, man. You better hope you know yo, he's in, bro. Yeah. I mean, nigga. Well, if you are, if you are MK, he's my brother. He's my brother. Yeah, wicked nigga. Wicked brother, I should say. Because yeah, if he is, a, 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 he's my brother, actually, because he's the, he, he's the brother of Israel. Yeah, Take yeah. Take a piece of Yeah. You know? Now, let's get to the... So, this nigga's a damn dummy. Yeah. Now, let's get to this scripture. You pull out scripture that you think you know, but you don't really know. You think you know, but you have no idea. What other thing? What else he said? He said, um... Oh, being flesh and lights don't make you God children. That was another thing that he said. I got we got scripture to prove on that, but you know what? We're just gonna get right to this next point. Um it says um for Galatians three and sixteen, right? Let's see if we can get that up here. Can you read that up? Alright, Galatians three and sixteen it says, Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. Right, to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. Singular, go on. He saith not and to seeds as in many, but as of one, and to the, thy seed, which is Yahweh Shah. Which is Yahweh Shah. Which, who was Isaac? Right. You know what? We gotta keep reading Romans 9. We gotta keep reading Romans 9. You can go back to Romans 9 and jump back to this. Okay. Because it came back in my mind. Can you read Romans 9 and 9 real quick? Right, to show that how that further goes with Jacob and Esau. Okay, Romans 9 and 9, it says, uh, for this is the word of promise. Right, for this is the word of promise. Because the children of promise are counted for the seed. Right. Because this is the word of the promise. Now let me tell you what the, you know you know what the promise pertains to, but now let us tell you what the promise is. Go on. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. He can't even break that down. I bet you can't break that down. Go on. And not only this, but when Rebecca also have conceived by one. Even by our father Isaac. So this is the word of promise. So in Isaac should that seed be called. Because Isaac was a child of the promise. Which goes on down to Israel. Because this is the word of promise. That I will come and Sarah is going to have a son who was Isaac. But not only this. Not just that. That's not the only part of the promise. The other part of the promise is that Rebecca was going to conceive by Isaac. Meaning that Isaac was going to have the son. That's the other part of the promise. Right. Who was going to be who? Continue. For the children... Being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. Go on. Verse 12, it says, It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So Paul broke down you just because you came out of Abraham does not mean you were a child of the promise because the Isaac shall see be called. Isaac was going to be a child of the promise. Because this is the word of promise. Sarah was going to have a son. But not just that. Rebecca was going to have a son by Isaac. Which is who? Jacob. And who? Esau. But it goes from Abraham to his son Isaac to his son Jacob. Right. See how it's going to a physical lineage of people? Yeah. Read on. Alright. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Keep ended at verse 14. Okay. Verse 14, it says, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. Meaning God, no. Just because, just because the Most High chose to hate one and love the other, don't mean it's unrighteous to have me father. The Heavenly Father can do what the hell he wants to do. He's the Most High. Why do you think he's called the Most High? There's none higher. Right. He don't got to fucking answer to nobody. Yeah. That's these dumbasses who don't want to understand the just can't get why the other nations can't be saved. Yeah. You don't have to please us. You don't got to please us. He's the Most High. He do what the hell he want to do. Right. He ain't Most High. He have to create nothing. Yeah. He ain't have to have nothing to create. He could have sat there by himself. Yeah. Really? And not been bored or anything. And he'd he he been just, pleased with that. Yeah, he would have been pleased with it, man. You know? But the most I chose not to do that. Yeah. Niggas, man. We gotta get out. Alright, so 16, this is please. Galatians 3 and 16 again. It says, Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not and to seeds as of many, but as of one and to thy seed, which is Yahweh Shah. So we know that's dealing with a certain group of people, not the seed of many, because Abraham had many seeds, many children. Right. And to one, which goes back to Romans 9 again, not because you're all of Abraham, are you all children? Because an Isaac was a seed be called. So the Abraham and his seed, singular, were the promises made. Not the seed of many, but of one, which is Yahweh Shah, who came out of who? Jacob, who came out of who? Isaac. 
Okay. The other scripture you had up here was um Galatians three and twenty nine. But guess what? We're not gonna start from twenty nine. We're gonna start a little bit up higher than that. We're gonna start from verse twenty three. All right, Galatians 3 and 23, it says, But before faith came, we were kept under the law. Stop. Who was kept under the law? Can you read that? Psalms 147 and 19, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yep. Praise ye, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. That's right. So now we understand that the law was given unto Jacob, unto Israel, and Israel only, and he had not dealt so with any nation. We have that understood. So being that we now have that understood, let's read that verse again. All right, Galatians 3 and 23. Bef but before faith came, we were kept under the law. So before faith came, we were kept under the law. Therefore, we understand that faith came to those who were under the law, which is who? Israel. Go on. Shut up. Shut up mean like enclosed. When you look it up, it'll say enclosed. Go ahead. Shut up. Unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. What is going to after be afterwards be revealed when Yahweh Shah was going to come? How when Yahweh Shah came, that was when faith came on the scene. That's when we were justified by faith. It wasn't that we had to keep the laws. That was going to justify it. We was that was going to justify it. We was going to be justified in believing in Yahweh Shah. Right. Cause read on. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. Right. The law was our schoolmaster. Let's look at that word schoolmaster. But you did a show on this like a year, like what was that, a year and a half, two years ago? Yeah, about, yeah, around there. Strong's G, 3807. Pidago Goss. Pidago Goss. right? Let's read this. It says, uh, uh, um, I want to, it says a tutor, i.e. a guardian of boys. A, a, a guardian and god of boys among the Greeks and Romans. I want to jump right down, down here, and there's the Greek lexicon to get right.